In this video, we're looking at volume of circular shapes. So that's shapes with a circle inside it, but it's going to be a 3D shape. So you got a cylinder, uh, a cone, a sphere, uh, three examples of circular 3D shapes where you have to find the radius first. So we're going to, again, just review the shape. So we got a cylinder, uh, that's how where it has a circle base, and then it's it's like the equivalent of a rectangular uh, prism. Uh, and then you have a cone, which again, it's got a circle base, but then narrows to a point at the top. And then you have a sphere, which is essentially just a completely, it's a 3D circle is a way to think of it. Um, so those are the three shapes. And the key to finding the volume of all of these shapes is the radius. If you know how to find the radius, these will be pretty easy to do. So let's draw a circle here. And again, the radius is from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. So you go from the edge to the center, that distance in any circle is the radius. So right, just think radius directly to the center of the circle is the radius. So once you know how to find the radius, there's really just three steps to finding volume of circular shapes. First it is you're going to identify the shape. So is it a cylinder, is it a cone, or is it a sphere? Uh, once you know what shape it is, you're gonna label the parts. And so that's either gonna be labeling R or the radius or H for the height. And those are the only two parts you need to label. And then the third and final step is once you have your parts labeled, you just plug them into the volume formula for that shape. So let's look at what that looks like for volume of a cylinder. Um, so here is the formula for volume of a cylinder. So the formula is the radius squared times the height times pi. So I would just do it in those three steps every time. So there's our radius. There's our height. And so again, that's the only two parts you need to find for volume of a cylinder. And if you want to go ahead and screenshot this for your notes, I would screenshot that. All right, let's see an example with some numbers. Um, so as you notice there, three is gonna be the radius. So we label the radius, and now we need to label the height and the height's going to be 8, so we have our parts labeled, so now we can just plug into the formula r squared times h times pi. Um, so again, the volume's going to be 3 squared is going to be the radius, and then 8 is h, so 3 squared times 8 times pi, and then again, now you're just going to go through the order of operations, just go from left to right, so volume is 3 squared is 9 times 8 times pi, uh, 9 times 8 is 72 times pi. And then, you know, whether the question wants it in terms of pi or if it wants a specific number, 72 times pi. Remember, pi is essentially just 3.14. 72 times pi is going to be 222.6. And then in terms of volume, we always write it in units cubed. So always remember to have your answer in units cubed. Um, Let's move on to volume of a cone. And the formula for volume of a cone is right there. So you have the radius squared times the height divided by 3 times pi. So again, there's the radius of the cone. The height is goes from the, the middle of the cone, the top, all the way down to the radius. That is what the height is. The hypotenuse or side of the cone, that is not the height. So some people get confused by that. That side length of the cone is not the height. Height is from the radius to the very top of the cone. And again, go ahead and screenshot that for your notes if you'd like. So let's take a look at what how to do this with some actual numbers. So let's say we got 12 there and 4. So now let's just label. So I always do R first. So 4 is going to be R. 12 is going to be h. Um, so now let's just plug in. So we got 4 for r. So 4 squared times, now we plug in 12 for h, times 12 divided by 3 uh, times pi. So again, now you can just solve 
4 squared is 16, 12 divided by 3 is 4, uh, and then pi. So now you got 16 times 4, which is 64, and then times pi. And again, if they want it in 64 pi, sometimes that's the answer. Sometimes they want you to do the whole number. So 64 times pi is essentially 201.06 units cubed. So now we only have one shape left, which is a sphere. Uh, there's the formula for the volume of a sphere. Um, so this one is actually the easiest. It's r cubed times 4.19. Um, a lot of formulas you'll see say radius cubed times 4 over 3 times pi. Well, if you just do 4 over 3 times pi, that's 4.19. So that I think this is the easier method. You only have to do two steps, really. So again, all we got to do for a sphere is label the radius and then just plug in. And I screenshot this for your notes. And let's solve it with a number. So as you can see, 10 is R. Uh, and now we just plug in. Uh, if 10 is R, 10 cubed is what we plug in times 4.19. 10 cubed is 1,000 times 4.19. Uh, and then 1,000 times 4.19 is 4,190 units cubed. So that is all I have for you today.